devastated the region with no end in sight. Every time the rain stops, you think this is it. Then, boom, here it comes again. The National Weather Service hasn't seen anything like this, which is why this hurricane is the worst in U.S. history. So Lucy reporting from Houston, Texas, looking for the light. Good evening. We begin tonight's news with the latest on Hurricane Harvey. Hurricanes such as Hurricane Harvey are considered the worst natural disaster due to the flooding, damage, and desperation they leave in their wake. Let's take a look at the impact of Hurricane Harvey, now considered one of the most devastating hurricanes in U.S. history. Harvey ripped through Texas with 130 mile per hour winds, while 27 trillion gallons of water flooded the region. Scenes of chaos and desperation in a disaster zone as police officers, firefighters, and more than 4,000 in the National Guard leaped into action. Military helicopters, trucks, and boats made more than 72,000 water rescues. At least 41 have died, and the death toll is expected to rise as rescuers search neighborhoods for those who may be still trapped and are still in need of help. 42,000 are currently living in shelters. As the storm moves forward, the scope of disaster is hard to imagine. 150,000 homes are damaged or destroyed. Highways and bridges completely flooded. And there are new dangers such as flood, food and water shortages, fire explosions, and medical infections. With clear skies today, Texas is cleaning up. Over $100 billion will be needed to rebuild Texas. In the waste deep water, what is left of their lives has been lost under the flood and mud. The impact of Hurricane Harvey will be felt for years to come as survivors wade through this disaster. Thank you for watching and have a good night.